Angie in here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Ah, uh, she's finally finished. Oh my goodness. She's uh, turned out beautiful. So that's the back. I mean, I did this so long ago now. I did a bit of slow stitching on there. And then we got all the beautiful lace. Yeah, so I'm very happy to have it her finished because I've run out of creative energy for this journal. Um, that's that's it for me. With um, and I know in future there's um, more slow stitching in there. And this is a soft um, soft cover. And these are just some tags that I made a long time ago now. And I made these not that long ago. I just decided that I wanted a little extra in the front here. And they just sit there. And I think, um, I think it's just turned out beautiful. All right, so let's go through it. I mean, I haven't really looked at all this for a long time. So this is small, slow stitching that I've done there. I've got a little um, rusty. Let's see if I can get this centre and see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So I've just got a little um, a little ticket in there, and then this is um, I'll have to make one of these again. Um, this is a like a deed, like a deed um, document, like they used to have in the old days. They used to have the deeds and have it all put together, like so. I did this from a tutorial from um, Heather from Ruby and Pearl. And I'm just going to have a bit of coffee. I was up so late last night finishing this journal off. And inside I've just got a, I've got a little, I've got a ticket. I've got, um, let me just take this off. I can't even remember what I've got in here myself. So let's just open this one and have a look. So I've just got um, like faux documents that I've made. A bit of, um, what do you call that? Wax paper. Let's turn a bit. I have to make one. Make another one. And then here I've just got, I've got a ticket. Got a little safety pin and I've got a little picture and ah oh, I've got um dried flower um just trying to think what it was it was it'll come to me in a minute oh, I can't think they're very um very hard to grow it's not something I've grown it was from a bouquet and I've got a old letter that I have aged. Ah, oh, what is it? Not lilies. Um, oh, no, it's not going to come to me. Anyway, you get lots of beautiful, and they, they you have to grow them in. Um, you have to grow them in special special soil and all that. I think you know what I'm which flowers I'm talking about. They've got the beautiful um, flowers. They have a lot of um, 
like prizes and ex exhibitions with those sort of, oh goodness me, you're not meowing again are you baby? I just gave you food so that you would be all happy. And um, what have we got here? Um, oh right, this is a pocket. I've just got a little pen. Oh, that's what I've got a little paper. Look at this cute little paper clip. <laughs> and then I've got um, what have I got in here? Okay, that's nice. I have to remember to do that. I haven't done that for a long time. And then I've just got some got a little pocket thing I made. That's cute. And then I've just a few bits and pieces in there. Oh, that's right. Um, I've got her. She's counting the days. This is her her man that she's waiting for. Oh, I love this lace. Oh, and I've got, um, I did dry, I don't have this plant anymore, I didn't have any luck with it. I had it for like one year and it flowered. I can't figure it, it's a um, native, it's an Australian native uh, creeper plant. Uh, it used to be called a happy wanderer, but I don't know. I haven't, um, I haven't seen uh, very many of them at the um, garden centres anymore. But I'm glad I got a little cutting of it. It flowered once and um, it didn't like the spot where I, where I had it because um, most of the year it's in shade and then part of the year it's in sun. This is gorgeous. So I've just got, I'm just trying to see what I've got here. I don't know, I haven't looked at these. Oh, that's very nice. I've got some stitching across there. And, oh, okay. So I've just got um, that tucked in there, and then just a little, with a few bits and pieces in here. That's what it is. That's very cute. I made this, I mean, I must have made this. This has been going on a couple of years ago. That's really nice. I like that. You forget the things that you do, you know, you sort of seem to, your style evolves over time. This is very pretty. Alright, so I just got that little, it's like a little tiny Italian passport. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And that's just a little card. I just got that holding it in there. Yeah, like a travel. Oh yeah, I can see what I was going for. This is like travelling like the map there, Voyage of Life, the passport. Very cute. And I think this is just a piece of fabric. A piece of fabric that I've and that's just a poem that I wrote. I think I just had that just to hold that in place so when you close it it doesn't flap around. Oh this was the sisters one. Sisters are different flowers, oops sorry, let me, sisters are different flowers from the same garden. That's cute. Very good. Oh I forgot to put that, where was that? I don't know. Oh, maybe it was, the, was it these ones? I can't remember now. I'll pop it on here. If I can operate it. There we go. I can't remember where it was. <laughs> Oops. Okay, where was I? Ah, oh, this is, and this here is a 
copy of an old um, Finnish letter from my mum's sister. Um, she lives, my mum's Finnish and her sisters are Finnish. They live in Finland and that's just an old letter that I copied. Oh, and I've got a bit of wheat here. I love this paper. She's gorgeous. Alright, now this is one of the pictures that I did last night. Got the coffee around the edge. And I did this. This is just a piece of, um, I think it was from like a tablecloth or something. I put the piece on there. And I just added a little bit of stuff here. That little girl. Nice collage. And I added, looks like the family and then this is where they live. Beautiful. Be I think this is from a um, book that I have. English um, English cottages and things. I have to remember, I have to grab my books out and take some pages out. Yeah, so this is... And I just added a little, a little bit of um, gauze that I coloured, and just a little. I just made this little card last night, and then I just popped it on here. And this is um, a page from, uh, I've got another book that's got um, lots of, uh, uh, oh, whoops, sorry about that. Um, got lots of buildings, old buildings and things. And I put some of my swatches. A bit of lace up there. That's ten. I love that. I love this um, the um, book page with the gesso and then um, watercolor. Little bit of a tuck spot there. I haven't put anything in there, but I think I have to have something everywhere. And just a little card in there. Little tuck. Another little pocket that I made. Pop that one in there. This is beautiful um, from a gardening book. Lovely. I really want to do a, a um, wildflower journal. It's only going to be small though. I'm not going to make them big like these. Little card. And I'll just add it. Just added some paper, beautiful paper, and some. I think this is. Hmm, can't think what it's called. <laughs> I don't think I, I didn't have enough sleep last night. Oh, I had a terrible night. And just a um, bit of lace. Yeah, this is um, oh, lovely. That lovely shiny see-through material. The name escapes me. I love these old um, blue and white um, china. Beautiful. And I love this page. This is from a... I can't think what it's called. It's in my shop anyway. If you want to have lots of um, five different pages. Like that. Oh, here's the um, the swatch that I made after watching um, Leslie from 507 Willow House. Um, she had a lovely idea with adding little bits and pieces. Um, I did a video on it, so there'll be a video coming out on it very soon. And this is a shaker card that I made. 
a long time ago. I've got um, I've got uh, what do you call it? A bit of glitter and um, stuff like that. Um, sequence and in there. Let's turn that really cute. And then on the sandy shore, and I've got um, a photograph of. Um, looks like looks like it might be an. Well, looks like an, a, a couple with um, maybe a sister or something coming along, or a friend going for a walk on the beach on the seaside. This turned out beautiful. I love that. This is that pocket that I made, and then I'll add it just this page from a book that I have. I'm gonna have to dig out my books and have a look. It's lovely collage on there. Oh, and this is my ballet page. Turn that lovely, beautiful. I've got the ballerina, I've got her little slippers here, her pink slippers. Oh, and she's got a ticket here, you know, when she goes on the train to go and do her, or the bus, no, railway, tramways, to go, um, to go and do her practicing. This is turned out gorgeous. I love that. And I love that, um, Washi tape, it's beautiful. I love that book. That's from the same book with the um, architectural. And this is my little top tuck that I did. I think that turned out beautiful. I love that. And I love that little extra there. And this is the little. I did do it with the four corners, but. It just kept coming off and then I thought, oh, I think I'm just going to do it down the side and have it like a flip. That's turned out really beautiful. I love this paper from that book. And just another little card there. Some more of that paper from an old gardening book. And this I love. <laughs> I'd love to make some more of them. Um, and I love this paper that's from the ballerina paper beautiful, goes so nice and just a little bit of a I did a collage hard to remember what I did last night I, I worked for many hours last night mm, cute birds and some more from that, um, the blue and white china, that's beautiful. And oh, this is the, um, love how it turned out. Um, I made, um, made it look, look a bit like a, um, oh gee. Yeah, oh, sorry, my brain's not functioning, I just... I didn't, I didn't, I went to bed very late and then I couldn't sleep and oh, it was terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, a Polaroid, so I'd made like a Polaroid and then I added coffee around the edge. Coffee around the edge and then splashed a little bit, I like that, I'm going to do some more of that. Just in a little pocket here. And just a little flippy bit. And this is the, oh, I did a tutorial and also on how I made um, these pockets. And just a journaling card in there. And this turn out beautiful. And make some more of those. I th actually, I think I've still got some that I've made. I still haven't used. I really have to start using things that I do.
get all inspired and think, oh, I'll make all these things to use in my journals. And then, oh, and I've got a little picture in there. <laughs> got the little owls there. Oh, sorry. I keep that reminding me to have a look and make sure I'm in frame. Oh, I love this page. That's the, the Florence papers. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Just love that. Love it, love, love. Love the colours and everything. Mm. And then there's a, another little card in there. I love that. I love those colours. Oh. So cute. I love that too. Oh, and I love that. Beautiful. The blues and the purples, they are so nice together. Beautiful card there. Yeah, and the sandy shawl. What is this? I've done that a while back. That's so cute. I love this as well. But um, the greens and that, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like a very dark pink, isn't it? Beautiful. This paper's beautiful too. A little pocket that I had made. I haven't got anything in there. Don't think I have to have something in every single pocket. And it's just a tag that I've attached with a paper clip. And some more of that paper. That's lovely. And just um, a book page, and I've just added some. A digital to that and same here I've just um, a bit of map and I just added some digital to there oh this is gorgeous too that, those pinks and the blues pink blues and greens are so gorgeous oh, I just love all the colors love all the colors I don't have a favorite color I just oh Every colour just shines all on its own. They all have their own special specialness about them. And I love that too. That's from... Um, done some... Uh, I think it must be coffee. Coffee dyeing. So that's, that's the book. It's uh, a nice big chunky monkey. Oh, it's turned out beautiful. I'd absolutely love it. Um, I was thinking about putting it in my shop. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let me know if anyone's interested in it. Um, I'm quite happy to keep it myself as well, of course. But would be lovely for someone to actually use it and to write in you know, I don't I don't do journaling as in writing I just love doing the decorating and all that I have done a little bit of um, one uh, one I did for myself I sort of did a bit of family history one journal that I made for myself that was fun I just put all my family all the stuff I know about my my family and one day my kids can have a look at it and, and they will know all these things. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Um, I certainly enjoyed making this. But I'm also happy that it's finished and I can move on, now move on. Because that's the thing. I just I didn't want to I didn't want to stop working on it because then I know I'd just put it away and I would probably never bring it out again. Because I'm like that. So I want it to get it finished. And I have now. And she's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journal. Okay, well thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give me a like. That would be wonderful. And subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.